Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, and that means we're using Ubel Xyz, except this Ubel deck is probably the least Ubel deck in all of the decks on Vitamin Y. Uh, pretty much I tore the deck apart and pretty much made it more XC than anything, so uh, this is the only Ubel deck that does not have A, not any limit reverses, because limit reverses is just cloggy, but uh, B, no other forms of Ubel, just for form. C, no Dark Governor's Armageddon Knights, because we're not really trying to send Ubel to VR. But it does have something that no other Ubel deck has, which is kind of a crappy card in other Ubel decks, but it's actually kind of decent in this one. Mystic Tomato is back. So, I pretty much set Mystic Tomato, they attack it, I summon Ubel, then I summon a level, another level 10, and I go ahead and go into the XC. That's essentially just a bit. Also, if I have Mount, Mount of the Bound Creator plus Ubel, I can pretty much stall out until, you know, they get an MST, so... You know, that's the plan, then uh, let's hopefully uh, it goes off well. So, you're going to be seeing the deck. So, we opened up with one of the Ubells, like I thought. So, it's the reason why we play, uh, this is the reason why we play two Ubells, definitely. Because I, I knew I was going to freaking draw one, I always do. So, I don't have a fill spell, so that sucks, I can't use you. I need a monster graveyard for you, so really the only thing I can do is just set Mystic Tomato, let it get killed, and... Something, but this can only go off of having no monsters in the ground. Oh my god, I can set the Mr. Tomato, he'll kill it, I'll summon you Bell. Next turn, I can go Exodus, return the, the Mr. Tomato back to the deck, summon Exodus, uh, Mirror Ladybug, if I control at, at least one face of monster and no cards in my graveyard, because I won't, because of Exodus, no monster in my graveyard. I can special summon this card from my hand, and when it does, oh, it becomes equal to the Tolox, and then he'll die, definitely, so I can't do that. Uh, you know what? I'll just end. I'll just drop Trag on his ass. Why not? Drop Trag. Drop and Trag. He's a 10. Also, he's a freaking. He's gonna be a 3,000 beater. So fuck it. I'll drop Trag. I am totally good. I don't mind dropping Trag. But yeah, this deck runs two Ubels because I knew I'd be drawing Ubel a lot. And Scrap Factory. All right. So let's see if we're gonna have like a filled spell off or something like that. Well, this guy just goes off with his goddamn scrap. With his his goddamn scraps. <laughs> Wait, did you do that right? Oh, so you're just gonna destroy itself? Yeah, this is a common. This is a common in Prime Origins. Like, Konami has pretty much just squandered a great opportunity to do something awesome. Just, just, just squandered it. I'll take the 17, and then I'm gonna summon Trigon Defense Mode. Definitely in Defense Mode. If he wants to make a Scrap Dragon, go right ahead, I really don't care. But a common? Really? A common? Uh, that's the wrong one. One scrap turn plus two or more scrap come. No. Does you mean twin? No. 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 <laughs> you mean twin scrap dragon. Not atomic. There. Yeah. Scrap Twin Dragon. There you go. Wow, you're not going to do anything with it. You're literally just going to just leave it like that. Alright, well, I guess you... You know, I guess you don't care about me get, killing your track, but I guess with your freaking uh, Scrap Factory, I guess you don't give a shit. Oh, it's only when it's destroyed by a card effect in Center Grave, right? When a Scrap Monster... Oh, because you gained the 200 attack, so I'm, tw I'm 36 and you're 32, so... I'm stronger than you. Uh, when a face up scrap monster you control is center graveyard, draw by a card playing center graveyard, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what does he do? This card's normal something you can select one. Okay, he's not really doing anything. So I'll just take the duel slow, fuck it. I'll just turn to attack and run you over. So I'm 36 and you're only 32, so. But a common for Scrap Factory, they just squandered a great opportunity to, you know, do something really c cool. Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, Scrap.
traps are so annoying to duel against. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Give me that. I'm gonna try to clean up this. I'm gonna try to clean up this mishap right now. And 101's not in here. I only put Exiton. Mm. <sighs> I'm mad at myself. He has one, two, three, four, five, and I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> yeah, I'm mad at myself. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Exodus. How much is this guy's D? 3,000? Awesome. So we'll go ahead and go for you. Did I summon him? There we go. Go ahead and get your effect. Attach and blow that up. Oh, and then Scrap Factory would go off. I can't win. I can't win against this damn deck. I can't win. Fucking scraps. Just drive me crazy. God, go. Scrap is just, scraps are so annoying. What? What? It's permanent. It's permanently mine. Drag is permanent. Why are you clicking my monster? It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> God. I need a filled spell. I need to get rid of fucking Scrap Factory by having my own filled spell. This is not going well. I swear to God. Scraps are just a pain in the dick! They're like the embodiment of a pain in the deck. This card is broke. This card right here is super broke. Like, this card has been causing a lot of trouble since it came out. You know? It gives you that fucking soul charge, hand loop shit. It's just a pain in the ass. So you're just gonna summon and destroy it just so you can get your goddamn scrap factory. So annoying. Well, this is going great. I'm glad I'm always drawing you, Bell. The only you, Bell, that we run in this damn deck, and I'm still glad I'm drawing it. Yep, I'm definitely gonna lose. Only way I can get out of this fucking situation is if I fucking draw a felt spell. <laughs> Swear to God, scraps when they get, when they go off, they go off. Why? Well, Why well, I get shitty hand, I get a shitty hand, so... That's a given. It's no big surprise, I mean, of course I get a shitty hand. It's just all scraps on the field? All scrap monsters again, okay. So, I was actually at... N so it'd only be 13. Because I was also a scrap monster. All scrap monsters gain 300. Great, now he's setting back row. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit. You know what, let me see my next card, then I'll quit. Yeah, I'm gonna quit. <sighs> I don't like doing against scraps, they're annoying. 
At least I'm gonna do some plays. Tell you the truth, I wish there was more. There's better fucking tens. There need to be better tens in this game. And I also need to remember to put 101 in the fucking deck. Mmm. Oh, well, this is really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. Like, wow. Uh, I'm running two Pathfinders, because Pathfinder can contribute himself to, you know, do awesome things. But, contribute him, he resolves in the grave, so, even if you veil him. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put Mounted Bound Crater in my damn hand. I guess I should just activate it now. You know? Activate it now. See when you get when you get it like this, it's good. I'll set this and pass to you. Yeah. You know? But I bet he has MST. I bet he does. Everybody has MST. Whenever I when I tell you that's in the deck, everybody had the MST. It's just like, it's 3 out of 40, how do you keep getting it all the, constantly, all the time? So unless you have the MST, you're in deep shit. That's, that's what's great about the combo, I mean, if they got MST, then fuck, but if they don't, then, you know, I'm kicking that ass, so. You know, once you get Mound and Bound Creator with frickin' Malefic Cyber End, that's when, that's when shit hits the fan, so. You know, I totally don't mind. So I'll just have Malefic Cyber End attack your monster. Okay. You can't. N you can't. You can't. You have to destroy to summon but you can't destroy me. See, target a monster you control, they control, destroy the target, then you can special summon the ice hand, but you can't, because you can't destroy me. Oh, well, you're gonna activate this here. Mermills? Mermills with fire and ice hand. That Mermills don't need fire and ice hand. Mermills do not need that. Mermills are one of the least likely decks that needs fire and ice hand. They're fine by themselves. Alright, well, I'm in deep shit. Depending on what he has in his hand, because he can make a Draco smack and destroy my mounted bound crater, then I'm just shit out of luck. Because not only will he destroy my fill spell and my my Malefic Cyber End, but also Draco sack with his damn tokens, I won't be able to kill him, and then once again he'll just pop the fill spell again, so. Yeah, this isn't looking that hot. I swear to god, on paper the deck is working fine, but it just seems like I'm just going up against decks that could totally outclass my ass. He said 23. I mean, a Draco Sack would be like the biggest inconvenience ever. Isn't this during. This card destroyed during your opponent's next turn. This is gone. You can activate. Yeah, you can activate spells now. Not that there's not a lot of spells that Mermills play, but. So I, I dodged a bullet that one, that time. Like I said, I'll, if he's smart. Just go into Draco Sack. Draco Sack, destroy the Filthy. That's all you gotta do. If you can pull that off, you will be totally fine. Alright, now we're getting Malefic Rainbow Dragon, so at least I got other Malefics to summon after he's gone, but. 
this is a target one card and your opponent controls the shot target if you do inflict a thousand damage. Alright, well, we can go ahead and summon him, because why not? So I'll go ahead and normal summon you, your original attack at zero. I activate uh, Metal Reflex Slime. Put you in the monster zone. Defense. Overlay these two into uh, Space Palace Gun Guardi. Gun Guardi. I'll go ahead and use this effect. So I'll detach this to blow this up. And you take a thousand. Wow, gun. I did not think that was gun. I thought that was maybe gonna be Lind. So I destroy the Lind. Take a thousand. Oh, or you can just quit. Or you can just quit. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call up. So, so, on paper, it's working. It seems like it would work fine. I mean, I did pull off some exceeds. I did play off the, the Mound of the Bound Creator and all that great stuff. But, I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna call it an episode. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Fire King Bell. Thanks for watching.